Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Nino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I am kind of piggybacking on the video I've done before on the automated robot. It's basically I gave my students a project to build a robot that kind of mirrors an everyday automated robot that kind of, you know, does something all by itself. So if you want to see those projects, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So I'll go ahead and leave a link to the first project that I showed you guys. It was the automatic gate opener, if you guys remember that gate that it kind of opened. So some of my students kind of piggybacked on that idea and made their own kind of version of those gates. But then I got a cool elevator to show you, which is really awesome because it actually does go from floor to floor. And then I also have just some more projects to show you guys even after today's video. So let's go to it. Comes up, ultrasonic sees it, goes through, and it comes back down. Okay, here's how this gate opener works. It's working off of a double ultrasonic. So this ultrasonic right here is going to see that the car has approached the gate. It will activate it to open. And then this ultrasonic sensor right here will basically activate it to close because it sees the car, or in this case here, the truck, going past it. So let me show you how this works. So the car comes up to the gate, sees the car or the truck. The truck goes through and watch when it goes by, activates it to close. Isn't that awesome? Okay, here's another gate opener project. Let me go ahead and show you how this works. There's an ultrasonic sensor there in the front, senses when the car arrives, and then when the car passes this sensor, it'll close. Basically, kind of like the one you just saw. So here we go. Activates it to open, the car goes through and then it activates it to close it. Pretty cool. Let's watch that again, because it's on a loop. Car drives up. Car goes through. Pretty awesome. Okay, everybody, check out this elevator made by a Robotics 2 student. And we basically have, hey, there's my buddy Buzz Lightyear. Um, this program basically just has two weight blocks, one for this lower touch sensor and then one for the upper touch sensor. So let's go ahead and pretend Buzz Lightyear went into the elevator and he pressed the button. That's so cool. Okay, so he gets out. Come on, Buzz. And then we'll just press this button up here to send it back down again. Yeah, Buzz is like, rock on. Now you're thinking, well, shoot, how does he get back down? Okay, so we're going to have to restart the program. Yeah, we'll have to do some programming to figure out, you know, like a real elevator, how do people get the elevator to come to their level. This was just made and, you know, we just programmed this part here. So we'll get Buzz into the elevator. See you, Buzz. So cool. All right, guys. So there is another automated robot made by a robotics 2 student and buzz made it to the second or first floor okay guys so hopefully you you are liking these projects um i was totally blown away this is the first year i'm doing these automated robots so i really didn't know what to expect and i told my students i'm really blown away by how well they're doing these projects how they're understanding about the building and the programming part of it and then the cool thing is, is not everybody's done yet in my class. So I even have more projects to show you guys, okay? 
Thank you guys for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.